In this session we will learn about three-dimensional graphics and plotting operations in Scilab. Scilab provides various functions for plotting and analyzing 3D data. Let's explore these functions in more detail. Plot3D function is used for plotting data on a 3D surface. It is a simple function taking x, y, and z data and plotting it on the surface. We can also plot a surface, defined by a set of facets where each facet, is defined by a polygon with endpoints. We can specify color at each point in the facet, by using a list of point and color pair. Let's see an example of plot3d function. Here. We define the surface bounds in x and y direction. Then we use a function to calculate the z values for the surface. We pass the data to the plot3d function and plot the surface. Now, we plot the same surface in wireframe mode. For this we need to specify additional properties for the surface. In the plot3d function, Flag argument controls the surface drawing mode and scaling, theta and alpha are viewing angles and, leg parameter is a string for labels of the axis. To draw the surface in wireframe mode, we set the mode parameter of the flag to zero. We have also removed the enclosing box around the plot, by setting the flag box parameter to zero. We can find more properties to control the drawing of the surface, in the surface properties help page in Scilab help file. Surf command is another function used for plotting data on a 3D surface. It draws a colored parametric surface using a grid whose coordinates are defined by x, y, and z. Color variations can be set using color map property of the figure. Here, surf function plots a 3D surface using the default color map of the figure. The geometric data of the surface is same as that of the plot3d function which we saw earlier. Now we see other 3D plot types available in Scilab. Bar3D, represents a 2D histogram as a 3D plot. Perm3D, is used to plot a single 3D curve, defined by its x, y, and z coordinates. Contour plot, draws curves to indicate the height of the z data on the surface. Now, we will learn how to plot 3D finite element analysis results using plot3d function. Here, we have a mesh of four hexahedral elements, and we want to plot the stress results as shown in the right. Let's see how this can be done. Now, first we define the element data matrix with node numbers in counterclockwise ordering. Then we define the nodes matrix with x, y and z coordinates of all the nodes. Then, we define results vector to hold dummy values of the stress results for each node. For plotting, we need x, y and z values of the all the nodes of the surface. Since each face of the hexahedral element, is a quadrilateral with four nodes, we iterate over all the faces of the elements, and prepare nodal coordinate arrays x, v, f, y, v, f, and z, v, f for plotting. Here we have defined a utility function, get hex faces, which returns list of all faces in that element. Then from that face, we get the node IDs of all the nodes in the face of the element. By using the node IDs, we get the coordinates of the nodes from the nodes matrix. In the same loop we also get the stress value from the results vector and put it in the comp array. Now, in the plot3d function, we pass all the data, and also pass a list object, having z values of the nodes and comp array. Then using the axis object, we set isometric view for the axis and set jet color map for the results. Using the handle of the surface, we modify the color mode, and flag properties of the surface to plot our results. That brings us to the end of this session.
Thank you for your interest and attention.